When the Piscataway were threatened by European settlers, they had to flee to other areas. These areas were chosen by the Piscataway people, who then had to adapt to these unknown places. Whoa, hey, what's this? The Maryland Charter. Barbarian? Pirate? Even Jeff? What's this they're talking about? There's no such thing around here. Wait, that does they're talking about. Let's go tell the truck. We've got to get out of here. Away! When the Civil War started, Clara Barton, an average citizen, took up a job as a nurse to do her part in the war effort. She had to adapt to the stuffy climates, the horrid smells, and terribly loud noise in the Dunker Church. Need these? Oh, sure. Thank you. Do you mind if I help? Yeah, we need all the help we can get. I'll go get some more bandages. Okay. You'll be good. Here. Let me get you some water. Here. Some water. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll give you a little more. George C. Marshall was a respected man in the U.S. Army and kept his cool when leading the largest army in history toward victory in World War II. He had to adapt to the many, many jobs and promotions that he had to undertake, sometimes doing three of his careers at once. First. First a soldier, then a general, chief of staff, diplomat, and secretary of state? European Recovery Act 2? What's next? Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I am George C. Marshall. I have been a soldier, general, secretary of staff, secretary of state, secretary of defense, and play a prominent role in the creation of the European Recovery Act, otherwise known as the Plan, which is a plan to help Europe recover after the devastating effects of World War II. I had to get them out of trouble in a way that would be sustainable and cure their problems, not just temporarily fix them. 